Hours from our sister station, Fox 35. For more information on the digital transition or conversion, go to WRBW.com. And now we're continuing our discussion with Congressional Candidate Walk Van from the 8th Congressional District, running as a Democrat. I'm trying to ask all the candidates the same questions. I want to ask you about illegal immigration. It was a huge issue two years ago. Uh, not hearing quite as much about it this time around. But what are your thoughts on illegal immigration? Uh, my thoughts are this, that what's at stake with the issue of immigration mm -hmm are two principles that held this country together. Mm -hmm. That one principle is that this country is a beacon of hope mm -hmm. for people all around the world. Mm -hmm. We have the greatest democracy, the greatest economy. The other issue at stake is the rule of law, which means that everyone is governed by the same standard, no arbitrariness, and so we all um, are treated equally. Mm -hmm. To preserve those two principles, what we have to do is implement what I call a tier system of integration. We can't deport people because that would just violate that whole principle that this is a beacon of hope. Mm -hmm. But we can't give amnesty to um, illegal immigrants because that would violate the rule of law. So, so we have to strike a balance between those. And my policy of a tier system integration will strike that balance. Mm, interesting. Let's talk about the war in Iraq. What do you think we should do? Uh, many Republicans say we're going to be in there for the long haul, stick it out until we decide we definitely won the war. Many Democrats say a phased down withdrawal. What are your thoughts? Uh, first, I mean, we have to say that this was a war we should never have been in. The Bush administration deceived us. However, we did go into Iraq, we broke Iraq, and we have to fix it. So we have a moral responsibility to the taxpayers to end this war. Mm -hmm. And we should put pressure on the Iraqi government to help flip the bill. Now again, I want to go back to the point that we have a moral responsibility to finish the war because we went in there and we broke it. So what we have to do is we have to set benchmarks for the Iraqi military and government. And we have to make sure they meet those benchmarks, give them control over to Iraq gradually. As they continue to get control, we need to pull away to the periphery, mm -hmm. but only as we ensure that they can handle it. And then we have to put pressure on the international community, the UN, NATO, and all other organizations and countries to get involved and to help maintain the peace in that region. Interesting thoughts. The uh, rising cost of that war and the continuous cost of that war uh, combined with the federal budget deficit has a lot of people very concerned about our economic outlook for the future, for the next mm -hmm. generation. What are you prepared to do if you go to Congress to balance the budget? Balancing the budget is a very simple concept. You don't spend more than what you have. Mm -hmm. If you make $100,000, you spend what you need, and then you save the rest. That's what we have to do, is we have to stop spending, stop pork barrel spending, mm -hmm. stop earmark spending. And I'm prepared to go out there and tell people, I'm not going to stand for this. It's easy to do. You go on programs like this program, Fox News, MSNBC, mm -hmm. and you go out and you tell the people what's happening. And they will not allow that to happen. And if it only means two years in office, I'm prepared to do that because I believe in this country and I am going to implement policies that best serve this country. And I'm willing to be a martyr for this country mm -hmm. to do what's good. What will you do to uh, offset the influence of special interests in, in, in Washington? Uh, many people feel like our campaign system is actually broken because of the money that comes from special interests. Uh, the campaign system is broken. In the state of Florida, you have to pay a $10,000 filing fee to get on the ballot, or you go and collect signatures. Mm -hmm. I personally collected 6,000 signatures over 110 days for nine hours a day just to be able to sit here with you and tell you, everyone that I'm running for office. Wow. So I will go and I will try to fix the system. Again, if it means only being in office for two years. You know, Mr. Smith goes to Washington, I'm sure, Many people have watched that movie. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest movie. Ms. Uh, Jefferson Smith's character, um, he is successful in the end. He fights the special interest, and people forget that in the end, he is successful. Mm -hmm. And that's what I will do to go and fight the corruption and the special interest and the influence they have. And the and last we, question yes. for you. We're almost out of time. When I say to you leadership, what yeah. does that mean to you? Leadership means someone who can invoke in people a sense of hope, the sense to go out and achieve dreams. Mm -hmm. But not only that, a leader invokes in people the sense that they themselves can become leaders, that mm -hmm. they can go out and make dreams happen. They can inspire other people. Oh. That's leadership. All right, Walker, I want to thank you very much. We are out of time. Uh, thank you. I wish you luck on your road to Congress. Oh, thank you for having me, Keith. I you really bet. appreciate Thanks. it. You bet. That's a wrap for, uh, for this weekend.